have a look at that steering wheel. That steering wheel's awesome. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. What is it? The, the original Jet Line, the original. Oh, is it a bloody two spoke? Yeah. Wow. Well, we've always got red <laughs> Lighter than a three spoke because it's got less spokes. Of course, eh? It's in the shade. Nothing. Yeah, you're right, there's no brake lines or nothing. Nothing. There's just literally nothing. Zippo. Right, so there's the brake lines there actually, they're in the back. Yeah. Oh, technically they are in the car. Yeah. They just don't work. Milkman Yeah. The milkman attack. So, yeah, so operation first is remove everything out of the car, sir, that we don't need. Which got put back in to sell it. Um, yeah, it did. And then it was all. And never sold. Let's do this then. No, it won't. <laughs> I'm tight on this side. Like. on this side anymore. Picture, sir. Mm -hmm. Ankle just wedge it in, it'll be tight enough. <laughs> just put a tack on each car. <laughs> I don't think I'll just wedge it in and it'll be fine. <laughs> And a chisel. And lightning in a car, sir. I remember the day as well. Lighter again. Yep. Bye. Bing. Wee. Oh, you've still got that panel on there, I don't know. Your air, air pillar trim. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you? Uh, Oh, yeah, because yeah, I had my gauges screwed to it. That's why I wasn't taking it out. You can uh, just mount it I have, to the I haven't the got a choice now. <laughs> you just have to weld some uh, 52 mil circles <laughs> onto the gauge. Yeah, actually. <laughs> just get some 52 mil pipe. Yeah. That's a pretty cool idea. Let's just get that trim out of it.
here's one we prepared earlier. <laughs> I'm not making a cardboard. <laughs> <one. laughs> right, cardboard brackets. Whether the metal version of this will be as uh, precise, I don't Easy. know. The cardboard one's looking almost like perfection. That'll do. Excuse that one. <laughs> can you weld cardboard? Oh, I'd be surprised. You can with Bostic. <laughs> Other glues are available, by the way. great because we watch a lot of YouTube videos where people make manifolds and stuff don't they and so we're, we're going to copy them slightly what are you going to do weld some nuts to a plate <laughs> <laughs> and probably my own nuts <laughs> <laughs> ah nuts stuck See all of them. Do you get a couple of bolts in or do you want to? Just need that cleaned off up along there. Just do it in there, yeah. Where's his pen? Um, Lines up anyway. So. Yep. Are you going on top of the like on there? Huh? It yeah. lines up bang on there. Oh, like. fair enough. I had it sat underneath the lift before. And then you've just got so you can weld it right along here. Yeah. There, so one down the there. And then you've just got that little gap there, which you could probably put a, a, a slither in, in, in the back of there and then just plate this through. Yeah. It fits with this in? Yeah. Aye. 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 So, uh, I'd put measure it. Just because I measured it slightly differently before. We didn't have the door bar in slick actually. We have the door bar in the. Yeah. And then can just tack it into place there. Yeah. You, oh yeah. I'll get you two. Happy at that, you reckon? That's it, tight against there, like. Hang on a minute. Well, wow, that's still not in 50 years. It makes any difference. Ah, ah. Uh, fucking hell, is that? It's just twisted for some reason. Oof. 
makes a difference. Oh, it's, it's gone underneath that. Oh. <laughs> Subtitles over this bit. This mute. Bloody hell! How many years? Uh, came off the road in 2013. Eight year. Not bad, eh? Eight year, and it's finally starting. Well, no first Eight year ago, it started to strip it. It wasn't the last time I worked on it. Eight year ago, but yeah, I was so close to actually selling this. I can't believe we're starting to get somewhere with it. It's gonna be awesome. So, uh, so what we're finishing up today with, might need a bit of light, you got a bit of light. Oh, it's a big light. Where's the big shiny shiny? Yeah. That one? That one. That one. So today, we cleared out the car from everything that was in it, which is all across there now. Uh, and, do you uh, Slick's cardboard designs and now got new mounts? Yeah. Mounts for the B pillar, bottom of the B pillars. We've got mounts for the rear wheel arches as well. Uh, there's one yeah, lying one around somewhere. There's one, one down there. there. There's one here. Yeah, we've marked up all the holes in them and we've marked it where they go. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, but we've managed to get the front plate in and the captive nuts welded on it. The first and all, one. And all zinc primers. So that's all there. That's the first one done. Five to go. And then your cage will bolt in. Yep. Yeah, certainly will. Like I say, I bought this cage. I actually went to Bristol for this cage. Jesus, that's a way. It's a long, long way with a trailer. Um, and that was, like I say, many, many, many years ago. Eight year ago, whatever it was, nine year ago. I think I actually bought the cage before I brought the car off the road. What make is it? Sparko. Sparko. Sparko 6.0. Um, supposed to have been 
Actually, well, it was going to go in the rally car apparently, this cage originally. So, I'm assuming it would, well, it probably was FIA or whatever it is yeah. re that's required. Um, but, yeah, for us, it be absolutely perfect. Be absolutely bang on. Um, the track is beating. Yeah. I think it's done loads of work to it, all the back end, like we saw in the first video when we had a look around the other week. Yep. Uh, we'll figure out what to do with that in the, later on, I think. So, but I think the... Should, what, what, what's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was that in the yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. So we've got... Um... Obviously you didn't watch it. <coughs> <laughs> no, I didn't watch it, but <laughs> Jesus. I couldn't remember if you put it in or not. Yeah, I, that's... You, you and Jim are the only people that normally watch our videos, that would have been two views we'd two have views, had. Two views, aye. Hi Jim, by the way. You'll be watching, <laughs> I hope. Um, yeah? Yeah, so yeah, we've got a, a fantastic start on it, like I say, and I, I looked at doing the cage uh, back <laughs> in, I think it was May last year before I was going to sell it, and I couldn't really make head and tails of like where to exactly weld or anything like that. And, yeah, it kind of got put aside as projects do. I'm sure everybody who's watching this video will actually have a project to put aside at some point <laughs> yeah talking to you jim by the way because you are watching this video we hope <laughs> yeah and, and, this, <laughs> and this guy here has an mx5 with the turbo sat on the bench probably still for it yeah and a brilliant and a brilliant and um several other guys yeah. but yeah so caging yeah once well, it will be, in. we'll finish this off probably um, in the next next part of this video yeah I will, video. we'll make a part two to this and that'll finish the cage off at least and that hasn't actually taken too long to do nah. no i was surprised at how quick considering a lot of it was measuring in yeah cutting welding well there's a lot more cutting and weld well not much cutting welding no. still to well, do though. <laughs> um but yeah to actually cut the mounts and everything else it didn't take a, a surprising amount of time it was uh, yeah I mean, it's over 10 years since we've done a cage. Well, we didn't do it, Johnny did it, but it'd be 10 years ago since we lined one up and tried to put one into a car. So it'd be about 10 years ago, maybe 12. I think it was 2010, oh, no, yeah, it's about yeah. 12 years ago. So, no. so we're just going to get our heads down and we'll get cracked on and get a tractor. Yeah. That's going to be our. That's the plan for this year. Thing, isn't it? Get, try and get a tractor. We'll get a tractor done in it. A few more episodes to come up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, between now and then. Got the engine yeah. to build. A whole load of parts to go. Yeah. I think once the cage is done, you can actually technically paint all the inside. Yeah. So we can do that. This, we, as Steve was just showing us, there's paint over there for it. Oh, yeah, the paint. Paint's up there as well. Along yeah. Like paint. All the other parts. Engine so, parts, cage parts, interior parts, seats, harnesses. Yeah, everything. Um, yeah, like I was saying in that first video, we well, must have been 95% of the way there with all the parts that we need. And that's pretty much all the big parts that was required. Um, it's just the odd little bits and pieces to finish off. Um, like high spec four pots to go on it. All I need is the actual correct mounting bracket. That little bit, the main parts there. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, to actually see this get up and running after this long, mainly man hours. It, it's hours. It, there's a lot of hours left to do it now. Yeah. But there's not... If we're, we're not starting from a, a basics full shell and full interior and everything else, so neither were. And it's not something we haven't done before. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that that's very true. Fun. That's yeah. one of the main things about this. It's very familiar <laughs> at all times. Everything about it's familiar. Yep. But yeah. Cool. Sweet. So thank you for tuning in. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll keep you up to date with progress as per usual. We'll hopefully be back. Well, we will be on the track some point this year. That yeah, is our definitely. goal. Yeah. So. Corsa versus the Jazz. Probably the Jazz won't be done, so I'm going to take the Civic. But we'll find some. Ah, I'm still going to be going for it. Well, you will be, yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely take this up. Cool. Cool. See Til you next, later. Till next time. Bye.